Just when you thought the Cabra Volleyball program couldn't reach new highs, along came the 2011 team, which broke records, won championships, and did something no other Cabra team has ever done. While the end of the 2011 dream season didn't produce a Hollywood finish, the journey to the top produced memories that will last a lifetime. Concordia entered the season as the number one pick in the MIAC preseason coaches poll. The Cobras returned all the major players from 2010, and it showed as the team won 11 of their first 12 matches of the season. Inside that 12-match streak was the title at the Wartburg Invite and a win over a perennial Division III powerhouse Juniata in the Colorado College Tournament. Concordia also went on to beat the nationally ranked host team in that tournament to push their record to 12-2, and entering the heart of conference play. The Cobras dropped their first match after Colorado, but then roared back to win nine straight to earn their second MIAC regular season championship. Along the way, Concordia strung together a conference record 30 straight set wins. They also recorded a sweep over conference rival St. Thomas, their first win over the Tommies in five matches. Concordia then entered the most memorable stretch of a volleyball in program history. The Cobras swept St. Ben's in the MIC semifinals to set up a return date with the Tommies for the conference tournament championship. In front of a record-setting crowd that filled Memorial Auditorium with the loudest roars in recent history, the Cobras beat St. Thomas to complete the conference double, the regular season and playoff titles. It was the fourth playoff championship in program history. Proving that the Cobras were the top team in the MIC led to a boatload of conference postseason honors. Senior Jenna Green was named the MIAC Player of the Year, and head coach Tim Mosier was named the MIAC Coach of the Year. Joining Green on the all-conference team were fellow seniors Katie Vinoka and Amy Sikora. Ashley Beesman also received MIAC postseason honors, as she was named as the team's representative to the all-MIAC sportsmanship team. With all the accolades and achievements already racked up during the year, it would have been hard to imagine what could come next. In an unexpected turn of events, Concordia was selected to host one of the eight NCAA regionals. It marked the first time since 1989 that any Cobber athletic team hosted a multi-team NCAA tournament. Concordia would not disappoint during the regional as fans flocked to see the best teams in the region square off during the national playoffs. The Cobbers drew record crowds throughout the regional and Memorial Auditorium was treated to the best volleyball in program history. The Cobbers started the regional by rallying from a 7-4 deficit in the fifth set against UW-Stevens Point to post a 3-2 win in front of the largest crowd ever to witness a volleyball match in program history. Concordia backed up that dramatic win by sweeping Bethel in the regional semifinals to reach the region championship match for the second time in the past four years. While the championship match didn't turn out in the Cobbers' favor, the memories made during the tournament will never be forgotten. While the playing portion of the season was over, the honors kept pouring in as Green, Vinoka, and Sakura went on to earn All-American accolades. It was the first time in program history that Concordia had recorded three All-Americans in a single season. The All-American award for Green was a fitting way to end her career. She was only the second player in program history to earn three straight All-American honors. In addition, Green recorded 432 kills and 467 digs in 2011 to become the first player in school history to achieve the 400 kill, 400 dig milestone in a single season. Green also became only the second player in school history to reach the 1,000 kill, 1,000 dig mark for a career. Green finished with 1,381 career kills and 1,501 career digs. She is the school's all-time dig leader and third on the all-time kill list. Vinoka earned All-American honors for the second straight year. She finished the year with 358 kills and 101 total blocks. It marked the second straight season. She posted over 350 kills and 100 blocks. Vinoka eclipsed the 1,000 career kill mark during the year and finished with 1,272 kills and 293 total blocks. She is seventh on the school's all-time kill list and 10th in total blocks. Sakura earned All-American honors for the first time in her career. She finished the year with 1,057 assists to become the sixth player in program history to amass more than 1,050 assists in a single season. She finished her four seasons with 3,132 assists, which is the second highest total in program history. 
Although the Cowers had many impressive individual moments during the season, the 2011 campaign will long be remembered for the high level of play for the entire 30 matches and for a playoff season that set Memorial Auditorium on fire with excitement from record-setting crowds in the stands and incredible play from one of the best teams in school history on the court.